Hello everybody, this is Tech Out. One of my favorite things to do is to head over here to GitHub and check out the trending page. This is a great way to go ahead and discover uh, free and open source software or software in general that you were not familiar with before. And a couple days ago, I was pondering this section of GitHub and I ran into this. GFPGAN or something like that. This is a open source face restoration software that has the aim of developing a practical algorithm for real world face restoration. And if we go ahead, scroll down here, you can see some of the examples they have. It, it looks pretty good. And I played around with this a little bit. I posted some pictures on Twitter. This right here was the input picture. You could see it's incredibly grainy. It looks like a picture off of a bad TV screen of a woman talking to a cell phone. And running this through this program or this piece of software one time gave me this result. Looking really good. You can see some of the details on her face a lot better than you previously were. So then I decided to run it through again and then I got this result. This, other than some weird distortion and artifacts in the background and on her hand, th this is a clean picture. It looks really good and this is probably what it actually looked like from the original camera. Now that I do not know because I don't have an original copy of this picture, but we could kind of get a good idea of how good it works. So I'm going to demonstrate this real quick. And I found this good old picture of PewDiePie. What we're going to do is a couple different things. First, I went ahead and distorted it more than it already is. By default, this isn't like the most high quality picture in the world, but I got this right here, the bad Pew JPEG. We're going to res try restoring this and see how close we can get to the original here. And in that, I'm going to show you how you can use this as well. And you don't need to install this on your computer. You don't need to have a GPU or anything to run this. If we go ahead and go to their collab demo right here, which is actually a Google service, we could go ahead and play around with this through this interface. Now you will need to be signed into a Google account to go ahead and use this, but here it's going to do just about everything for us. Now you could literally copy all of the commands and everything that it runs on your own system if you want to run this locally. But to do this first, we're going to start with step one, the preparations. And this is going to be using Python three and it is accelerated by a GPU here. You can see all the different things it's going to run. It's mostly installing some prerequisites and pulling the actual release from GitHub here. So to run this, all we need to do is click this little play button and hit run. Anyway, this is created by this Google account and it's not authored by Google. It's just a little heads up on that. So you run it. This takes a little bit of time, but not too long. While it's actually doing this, you could see some terminal output of the exact steps that it is doing. And then as soon as it's done, you'll see right here. And there we go. So we got a little green check, took 49 seconds for that first run. And now the next thing is to upload our images, or we could go ahead and use the demo images if you don't want to upload. I do want to upload this bad pew JPEG. So I'm going to go ahead and run this one right here. So it will create the upload directory and all that. So all we need to do now is browse. It's on my desktop. So let's get the bad pew, open that up there. Now that that's uploaded, we can go ahead and scroll down here to the actual interface. So the interface is what's going to actually run this uh, GFPGAN, whatever. And here you could see all the variables that this is a Python program. So what we're going to do is give it a simple run here. And then down here, we can see it working, pulling any uh, prerequisites, and it's actually processing my image now and going through the tile. This is the actual process of the uh, AI trying to fix this image. So now we can visualize this first visualization is going to be the cropped faces for what we're doing here. That's what's most important. So I'm just going to hit this little play button and it should go ahead and give us the output. <laughs> So this right here is the output. I'm going to open this image in a new tab real quick. There it is. So you can see this uh, pixelized version that I uh, both blurred and pixelized just a little bit in GIMP. You can see right here, that's the uh, pixelization and that's the blur that I applied. I mean, it did pretty good. It, it looks like a good image. Uh, if we compare it to the OG, the original here, um, he's not really looking in the right direction anymore, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's pretty spot on. The nose is pretty close. The, uh, teeth are moderately close. Uh, the hair is good. And so using a really bad image, I mean, it, it managed to pull out a pretty good result. The eye color is moderately proper, even though again, he's not looking where he should be. Just for fun, I'm going to run this OG through to see if we can get a, uh, how good of a result we can get. So to do this, since we already ran the first thing, all we need to do is come up here to the upload 
and rerun this. So this will allow us to upload our, uh, our OG PewDiePie. So hit open. And now that that's uploaded, we can rerun this interface here. And there we go, it's just about done. So now if we go ahead and visualize it here, let, let's see if it made it any better. I mean, that looks pretty good. So let's open that up in a new tab. Oh, Mozilla, how could you? All right, so here's our visualization. I had to uh, rerun something. So let's open that up in a new tab. Hopefully it won't crash. So there we go, there it is. I mean, that's that's a pretty good little AI enhancement there. So that's our original, original image. And then it went ahead and gave us this. So if the image isn't super bad quality, it does a really good job at sharpening up images. And for images that are <laughs> incredibly bad quality, it does a really good job at predicting what the face looks like, even though there's some things that are off. So if we like jump back and forth here, I mean, it's looking like it makes it just a little bit warmer compared to some of our originals. But I mean, if you had like a slightly blurry picture of even yourself or a relative or whatever, you wanted to make it look a little bit better for them, this would be a really good way to go about it. If we go over here back to the interface, I that last run I went with the entire image. So uh, this one right here under visualize, this first one is just the face crop and then the second one is the uh, whole image output. And I mean, that looks really good. And then of course here, we could go ahead and uh, download our results. So if I ran this, it should just give me that a download.zip file. So if I go ahead and open this with our system handler, which is the archive manager, I'm going to extract this to our desktop here, extract and close that. Here we go. So this is the actual output that it gives you. If you want to go ahead and download this, we have a CMP, which is uh, the compare. So that looks really good. There's a couple weird things. I mean, the eye looks a, a little bit sharper, like his eyeballs are about to pop out, but it, it, it's pretty good. But in this directory, we have uh, other things. So we have our cropped faces, our restored faces and restored images. So this is that new image that it went ahead and gave us and it's full quality and all that. But it looks pretty good. All right, so I went ahead, I found an old picture of my grandparents that isn't the best of quality. So I'm gonna give this a save and see what we can do here. Drop that over there, head over to the utility here. And since we went ahead and ran that, I should just have to upload this. So let's rerun this, browse for the file. It's on my desktop, here it is. Open that up and let's give this a run. Let's see if this works here for uh, something I'm actually uh, moderately interested in seeing. All right. So let's go check out the results here. If I visualize that, let's see what the cropped faces looks like. Oh, that's not very accurate. <laughs> I mean, that is a that is a pretty bad picture. Uh, my grandpa's a lot closer, so that that's moderately uh, accurate right there. My grandma, she doesn't look too much like that. I mean, it's still pretty cool. Let's go ahead and visualize the whole image, see what that looks like. Hey, I mean, that's pretty cool. It's a, it's definitely a fun little tool to go ahead and uh, play around with. And if your images aren't that bad of quality, they just have a little bit of fuzziness or something, uh, it's definitely a tool that you could go ahead and use to uh, fix them up a little bit. The My, my grandpa, that's almost exactly what it looks like. Kind of looks like me there. <laughs> all right, with all that, I'll uh, be linking to the GitHub page, which will have the link to this, uh, the collab, the Google collab coding thing. So you could go and play with this for yourself. Uh, with all of that, I do hope you have a beautiful day. Subscribe. For more content like this, I definitely love checking out some uh, good old free and open source software. If you're in the same boat and you want to see all the cool software I happen to stumble across, make sure you subscribe and you ring that bell so you do not miss any future videos. Uh, with all that, have a beautiful day and goodbye.